Hey, thanks for stopping by for this episode of Jeremy Goes and Golfs. Today we are at Southmore in Bath, Pennsylvania. A little bit misty today, but that's all right. Can't beat that fall weather. First hole here is a uh, par the four. Ball is beautiful. Look at those trees. Hit a pretty good drive, right center of the fairway. Left myself about a buck forty in. Hit a real smooth uh, nine iron, which ended up uh, middle of the green, sucked back, and I had maybe a twenty-two footer or so. These greens are very difficult. It's not a long course, but the greens are tough to maneuver, as you will see in this. Starting the day, fairway green, two putt par, can't beat it. Good day here in Southmore. Second hole, par four, probably plays maybe a little bit shorter than the first hole. Hit a pretty good drive and uh, had some technical difficulties here on this second shot. You can hear me cleaning my clubs, but the video cut off and I was unable to get it. Hit one to, I don't know, maybe about 25 feet left and past the hole and was able to drop a putt. Third hole, very short and tricky par three. Don't miss left, don't miss long, don't miss right. I was between clubs and went with the one that would get me on the middle of the green. Just so happened to suck it back a little too much and had a long putt, probably about 74 feet I think I paced it off. Came up woefully short, but was not able to make the par putt. Hello, three putt. See how many of those I make today. Back to even. Fourth hole's a par five. Not very long, but don't miss left. I erred on the side of uh, caution there on the right. Chunked a four iron off that hill and left myself maybe 50 yards. Thought I hit a decent one, but I... Did come up short, had a pretty lengthy birdie putt. That rain's coming down, huh? Put a very good roll on this one and caught the corner. Was able to make a par. Five almost feels like bogey on that hole sometimes. Nice little uphill par three. Triple tiered green, very difficult. Fortunate enough to have the pin in the front today. Hit a nine iron to about, I don't know, look at, look at that scenery. Come play this course, everyone. Had about maybe, I don't know, 18 feet or so up the hill. Not my best effort, but I will take a three on this hole any day of the week. Another par five here, <clears throat> dog leg right. You can easily go through the fairway, so I try to just blast one over that beautiful orangish-red tree. Left myself about 2.15 in today, and just fanned one out to the right. Not my best swing, but I had to get rid of the glove because it was soaked and doing more harm than good. Real nice flop shot here. Um, was able to put it pretty close, and... Knock in a birdie. Seventh hole, very tough off the tee. Just want to put an iron in play. Left is dead. It's all out of bounds. Just like this camera stand. Did clip the trees and found myself in the bunker, but was able to put a pretty good swing on a wedge to the, the pin, just right of the pin. Maybe another, I don't know, 20 footer or so. Pretty good putt, pretty good speed. Speed's, speed is tough to gauge here. Um, a lot of subtle breaks, undulations. Eighth hole, another par four. It's a gettable hole. Caught it a touch off the toe, and I ended up uh, just in the, the left rough. Had about 107, I believe, into this hole. Really uh, stepped on a, a sand wedge, and it was pretty close. And hey, don't be an asshole and uh, not fix your ball marks. I fix them all day. Was able to drain the bird. So uh, 
going along nicely. Was unable to capture uh, my tee shot on nine. Hit an iron off the tee to stay away from that water. I did there. That's some foreshadowing. Not my best effort on that bunker shot. And hey, don't be that guy that leaves uh, big hoof prints in those, those traps also. Put a pretty good roll on this one, but unfortunately I closed the front nine off with a bogue. Stripped the layer and got a spare glove from the trunk and ready to, to make some noise on the back nine. Hit a real nice drive here, and I had about 110. Again, tried to step on a sand wedge. Thought I hit a real good one. I did, but uh, sucked back a little too much. And uh, I'm surprised I'm actually wearing shorts because I should have probably had my skirt on for that one. And <laughs> this is just a disaster. But that'll happen here at Southmore. It is a great defense for not being a long course. Very short par four, plays about 285. Smart play is to just blast one towards the right and see if you can get up and down for bird. Not my best effort here, but we do have a look at it. But unfortunately, I'm not the best putter sometimes, especially here. Whew. Yep, hang your head, you suck. You know, you see sub 300 on the card and you think, oh, I can, I can put a circle on there, but nope, not here. Nice little par three. I think it played about 145 today. Pin was in the back and I had a beauty. Laid off a nine a little bit and uh, pretty close. But hey, guess what? If I could putt, I would I be can't a good golfer. Another short one here, plays about 270-ish. Took the two iron out of the bag and ripped it. Uh, kind of uh, unlucky, I plugged right next to where that landed. Another few feet left and I, I probably would have caromed onto the uh, green. Not my best effort with the chip. And remember that skirt I should have been wearing? Yep, should have been wearing it there too. If you're not fortunate enough to live somewhere where there is a fall, uh, you're missing out. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful fall is in Pennsylvania? Par five here. Put a good swing on it. Took a lot of video, a lot of B-roll, they say, of the uh, scenery. Had about 155 in. Hit a nine and I just didn't catch it well. Kind of got caught up on the hill there, but I was able to probably put my best chip of the day on here and we we'll, don't even need the putter. One of the greatest holes in all of the area, I believe, is this uh, 15th hole. It's par four, plays about 440. Was able to pipe a drive and flush an eight iron. Ball's a little below my feet, so I thought I was gonna turn back to the right. Got hung up in the rough. Decent chip, had a good line, just didn't get it there. But hey, <laughs> look at that. Blind squirrel, huh? Long par three, played about 212. Stuck between a five and a six, hit the, the six and just fanned it a touch to the right, but put a pretty decent chip on it. And I yanked it. <laughs> Thought yanking it was for your bedroom, huh? Nope, do, do it on the golf course too, right? Look at all them geese. Love those geese. 17. Hit a pretty decent drive. Kind of got a little high on the face, but I had about 65 in. Thought I hit it right next to the stick, but I caught the upslope heading up to the green. It was just off the green, and the guys on the fairway adjacent missed me by about four feet. Four. Thanks, guys. cruised that one past but was able to recover and don't go right don't go right <laughs> sometimes you just talk yourself into doing it don't you I had to drop 
at about 165, 170 to a back right pin, but flushed a seven iron. And uh, Still feeling good. Par. This putt to shoot even par. You already know what happens. I think I burned about know, four edges today. But hey, any day on the course, one over. It's better than a day at work. You stuck around this long? Hey, thanks. Really appreciate it. We'll go out golfing sometime, you know?